What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. D-Dub here and welcome back to Stardew Valley. As always, excited to be recording. Thank you for the cookies, Evelyn. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. No, it's all good. We will eat it when we need it. That rhymed and I did not mean for that. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. I know today is a Friday. This should hopefully be the last week where Stardew Valley is replacing the forest, at least for the foreseeable future. Carson had to take a little personal time off from recording, which I don't blame. Recording the forest is pretty tedious stuff with all the grinding that's involved, but we should be back to that next week, so don't worry. But I know everyone likes Stardew Valley. I like playing it. You guys like watching it, or at least I hope you like watching it. I don't think you'd be this far into the video if you didn't. But anyway, let's get into some Stardew Valley. So I mentioned, first things first, we're gonna fix our fence, which takes, I believe, 40 stone to do, unless they take two each, which they do. So that's half as many as I need. And we're going from a crappy fence to a happy fence. And I can't tell you how terrified I was to replace these up here for fear of accidentally replacing one of our legendary fish. That would have made me cry a little bit on the inside. Not gonna lie. Anyway, we have a couple things I wanna do this episode. And we have, and I'm getting excited before showing you guys because I always loaded the farm and I know things that you guys don't as of right now, but our artichokes, oh, they didn't harvest them. Just kidding, our artichokes are ready to go. Apparently we did plant some down here. I don't remember what our snafu was with planting artichokes or failing to plant artichokes. Anyway, we have artichokes now. And that was wheat that got harvested and those were yams. So I need to replant those and take care of our morning routine. And I'll join you guys in a sec. And ooh, pickled, pickled potatoes. That sounds disgusting. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a sec once things are done. Okay. Everything's done as far as our normal morning routine is concerned, but there's a couple things I want to take care of Oh, I totally forgot that we had artichokes ready to go in here. Anyway, we'll harvest these today I'm gonna leave the rest of them. I don't know if I think these things despawn if they don't get ho or stuff's not in them Even if they get watered, so I'm gonna leave the rest. I meant to harvest these all tomorrow I don't know what happened. I think I planted some when they were watered and some weren't, and that's why they're all kind of all over the place as far as what's grown and what isn't. But anyway, you can see we've got some ancient fruit ready to go. I'm waiting until these all grow in at the same time, and then I'll harvest them all. Same with the coffee, which they're already all together. But I want to add some lighting in here. It gets really dark at night, and I don't like it, so I'm going to add four... I don't have the resources for it right now, but four wooden lamp posts, which is 200 wood. So we need to chop that out today. I was going to say grind that out, but it's cutting trees that doesn't quite fit. Anyway, we need to do a little bit of that, and I don't remember when we got a wicked statue recipe, but that's a thing. Anyway, we're going to make four wooden lampposts, and I had something else I wanted to do. Oh yes, because we now have artichokes, and you can see I've got four on us, we're going to sell... Oh, those are the ones we just picked up. Anyway, we're going to do some cooking. I mentioned I wanted to do a lot of cooking, and we're waiting on artichokes, but now that we have it... Or now that we have our artichokes, we're good to go, which is really exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and gather the ingredients for all the things I want to make. There's actually eight recipes in total that we can make. Tomka suit, fried eel, spicy eel, super meal, artichoke dip, roasted hazelnuts, fruit salad, and a blackberry cobbler. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those ingredients and I'll meet you in the kitchen. And we're back. Okay, that took a while. I realized I was out of oil and I have not made any more, so I had to run to Pierre's and actually buy some. But between everything we have in our inventory and everything we have in our refrigerator, we should be able to do this fairly quickly. So we've got Tomka soup, which is an interesting combination of ingredients, that's for sure. Tomka soup, let's see if I can't remember all these. Fried eel, spicy eel, Super meal, artichoke dip, roasted hazelnuts, fruit salad, and blackberry cobbler. And that should be eight items. It is. We did it. Go us. Okay, we need to stash this stuff real quick. Okay, that's beautiful. And look at this now. It's so much closer to being complete. It's amazing. There's only one, two, three, four, five recipes left. 
And I know some of those, I'm pretty sure you get a recipe at both three and seven hearts. So we're still waiting on one, two, three, four recipes, maybe? Assuming the dwarf gives us something? I'm not sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're making progress. And let me go ahead and drop off my cheese while we're down here. I'm actually recording this before you will have seen last episode. So as far as my question I posed last episode, what should be done about our cellar? I'm going to hold off on doing anything this episode because I'm waiting to hear from you guys. So we'll get to that hopefully next episode. Hopefully. Or at least I'll have a decision by next episode. I had oil in there. I'm not sure what I was doing. I had four in there. I, I I, don't know, guys. Anyway, we have some cheese in here, too. We might age that. We might keep it. I don't know. And we're doing pretty good on milk and everything else as well. It's beautiful. Okay. Cool. Let's get on with our day. I need to head up to Robin's before she closes. I think she's closing at five. So let's head there and see if we can't drop a hundred grand on a furniture catalog. All right, Robin, I'm here. And I am ready to decorate. Let's do it. Okay, furniture catalog. Purchase. Wait. Oh, crap. It's 200,000? I thought it was only 100,000. Dang it. Okay, we're still a little ways off from that. Crap. We might do some evening mining then, because really my goal is just make a lot of money. And kegs and casks are doing that for me right now. Dang it. Hold on. What was community upgrade? Hold on, before we do that, what is the community upgrade? But what can we, is there anything else we can buy that we want slash need? Um, different fireplaces. Oh, we might as well get these just to have every crafting recipe because we are working at crafting everything. I've got a basic log that would look just exhilarating in your house. Uh, thanks Robin, but no thanks. Crystal path and stone brazier? Brazier? I think a brazier is a women's article of clothing. <laughs> and a brazier is uh, a fire thing that we can now make. Which looks kind of cool. I've actually made one of these in a different farm. It looks a little bit too elegant. Like it should be outside like a castle or something. I don't really think it'll fit too well. Although it does kind of look like a bird bath if it's unlit. We might put one of those and not light it near our garden, uh, or sorry, near our flower garden. That could be kind of cool. Anyway, what else did I need to do? I need to go grab gifts for the week and just, as we see people, make sure we give them gifts. So let me go do that real quick. Or should we do mining today, the rest of tonight, and take care of that in the morning? I think we should do that. We're already here. We don't have our sword. That's okay, though. We should hopefully have our lava katana. Otherwise, we're just not going to do combat. Because we can do that on level zero in the mines. We can get away with not doing combat. Which looks like is going to be the case for today. So, let's stash all the things. This is so much stuff. Uh, actually, I'm used to having those on two and three. That's fine. Cool. Let's do a mining trip without a sword. What can possibly go wrong? I do this to myself, guys. I, I really don't know. That was not terrible. Was it great? 
No, but oh well. We did get 78 copper though, so that's a plus. That is a most definite plus. I didn't want to risk trying to get any iron while we were there because um, we already lost half our health just to those little... Requires coal, dang it. Because of the little, uh, they start out as larva, they turn into whatever the heck you call them. Anyway, I need to put away, actually, I can do this real quick. There's not a lot here. All I've really been doing is saving our earth crystals. Everything else I kind of sell. And we should go process some geodes tomorrow. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. But our aquamarine can get sold, and then we just do a little bit of reorganizing. And it's beautiful. I don't know why I have five artichoke on me. Those are supposed to be somewhere else. Ugh, things and stuff. This is why I don't normally show you guys this, because this is what it looks like. It's chaos, and me not knowing what goes where and where to put stuff, and I'm selling this. That goes... See? It's it's cra it's crazy. It's, it's bad. Anyway... I put some stuff up here to sell it. I didn't sell it. There we go. Sorry, I'm a mess. Anyway, water can can go away, and then these can go away. That'll get stored tomorrow, because I meant to do that. I must go ahead and get some more copper processed tonight. And then we'll go to bed. Oh, gosh. See how I cut this out? It's not very fun to watch, I know. What? I didn't feel like doing it tonight. I uh, I don't know. We didn't have a whole lot to do. So anyway, bedtime. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's go to bed. <laughs> We've been having so many late nights lately. It's bad. I should really learn to go to bed sooner. But with all this energy, there's really no reason. I don't. I don't ever need it all. Ever. I lose health before I lose energy. We're still making a good amount of money without really trying too hard. So that's nice. Artichokes don't sell for a ton. But that's okay. That I'm okay with that. That's not terrible. Anyway, today, uh, I need to grab gifts for the week. We've already cooked. We can no longer spend the day decorating. What is this? Is that sharp? <gasps> oh! Charlie! Oh! <gasps> They're so cute! Little baby Charlie! He's playing! Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Oh, that's our son. <laughs> oh, man. Good morning, D-Dev. I made us some coffee. Thank you, honey. My morning just wouldn't be complete without a hot cup of coffee. And my morning wouldn't be complete without a hot cup of Leah. Mm. That's out of way creepier than I meant it to be. Anyway, we got some wine ready to go. That is something I can definitely grab. Oh, but I I would love to just sell this all and make some money today. But no, alas, we cannot. Because I'm waiting to hear from you guys about what we should do instead. Starfruit wine at that? Oof. That's going to be worth so much. Eventually. But not right now. Because I'm waiting for you guys. But that's my fault, not yours. So I'm not yelling at you. I'm yelling at me for recording ahead of time. Which, shame on me for being on top of things. Anyway, okay, let's get our day going. One thing I don't like about that is it does take some time out of our day. I mean, add more stuff to do, and it's going to take more time. So I guess I shouldn't be complaining, but storm is approaching tomorrow. Heck yes, I like storms. And we have some annoyed spirits today. Fish focus, albacore, can be found either early in the morning or at night. Look for it in the ocean in fall or winter. We haven't gone fishing in so long. I wouldn't really have a need to anymore. I kind of miss it. I might just go fishing one of these days. Maybe not even as... I might not even, like, save it. I might just, you know, end this episode and fish for a little bit. I actually like fishing in this game. I know there's several people out there that don't. And that's fine. But for me, I, I do enjoy it. So, anyway, let me go ahead and take care of my morning routine. And then we'll grab... I'll go ahead and grab all of our gifts as well. For those that still need gifts. Because it's already Thursday, and we haven't given any gifts out, and that's not okay. But, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, hi. That took a while. It's almost noon. Anyway, we're here in the chicken coop, and I'm wondering to myself, why the heck do I only have three mayonnaise makers? 
I've gotten to the point where I've got enough eggs in storage in our refrigerator that I don't really save any. I just sell them as raw eggs. I could easily make them into mayo and make more money. So currently we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs per day. So we need to make five more mayo, mayo, mayonnaise makers. And let's see what that takes. Wood, copper, earth crystal, and stone. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's now on our list of things to do. So we're going to do things. I guess we should probably do villager things first and then come back and take care of that stuff. Just by the natural order of things that we do, that, that would probably be the better order to do things in. Because villagers are only out so late, but I can stay up however late I need to. So yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get some more of these going. Do I have enough? I don't. That's unfortunate. Anyway, my inventory is a hot mess right now. I'm going to go ahead and organize this a little... Actually, no. Who are we kidding? It's going to stay a mess for a little while. But we need to get to Clint. Get him to process some geodes. I'm going to sell some stuff. That goes there. All this stuff goes in places that's getting sold. Geodes are getting processed. That gets stored. Guys, I'm a mess right now. Just, it's plain and simple. I'm a mess. Okay. Let me get things straight. I'm going to grab the gifts for the villagers. I'll, eh. I'll meet you at Clint's. Okay, I know I said I'd meet you guys at Clint's, or I think that's what I said, but I, I made a stop by Harvey's real quick since it wasn't yet three, and we have some coffee to give him, and we got a cutscene. So, he, here we go. Ah, D-Dub, I was just about to write you a letter. What, what about? About my health? You see, my records indicate that you're due for your annual checkup. Oh boy, oh no. Now, now, there's no need to worry. It'll be quick and painless. Please follow me. What kind of doctor does walk-ins like this? Oh, hey, glad you stopped by. Time for your checkup. Like, he must have nothing to do. I guess he really is hurting for patients. <laughs> is that available? Hmm, okay. Hold still, please. And before any of you say there's things called walk-in clinics, I, I'm aware of that. Say, ah... Uh... Ah, uh, okay, you can stop. <laughs> I'll just do what you said, Harvey. I just need to check your vitals. Is everything good, Doc? Mm, your pulse is high. Are you really a doctor? My pulse is fine. I'm out of breath from working on the farm. Okay, that makes sense. I think he was about to fall over. Well then, you seem very healthy, D-Dub. Just make sure not to overwork yourself on that farm. I promise nothing. But thanks, Doc. That sounds so weird saying. Sorry, that was just weird for me. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> I'm used to being Doc. Doc you, you can't be Doc too, Doc. I'm Doc. Do you have an appointment? No, but Harvey saw me anyway. Thanks. Anyway, uh, is, is Elliot in here doing his shopping? He is. Sorry, I'm in gift mode right now. You guys know I get that way sometimes. It happens. Oh dear, a tiny crab appears to have made his home in my shirt pocket. That's a trouble with living on the beach. I don't know anyone else that's ever had that problem before, but you do you, Elliot. You do you. Okay, he closes in an hour. And we're going to have so many things. I'm so glad I put this chest outside, Clint's. I planned on removing it at some point. But I'm very glad I didn't. Because it's going to get some serious use. Also, this should probably get fixed first. Because we're about to create quite the mess for ourselves. That is a lot of geodes to get processed. We'll keep our tools just because I don't want to have to deal with reorganizing those. But alright, Clint. Please, process me. 30, 50, 77 geodes. Okay, wow. That took a while. I had to go back in and out of Gunther's, I think, three, four times? I don't remember. Because we have so much stuff from that. It was insane. A lot of, lots of stuff. I'm trying to grab anything else, but it's all duplicates, or not duplicates, but we've got more stuff. Anyway, we came out of that with seven iridium, 
which is awesome. A little bit of iron, a little bit of copper. Never hurts. We need a lot of that stuff. And most importantly, we got a new mineral, which I don't feel ever happens. Also, did I leave an egg in there? I left an egg in there. Let's drop something behind. We'll grab that egg. This is a complete mess. I haven't had a full inventory like of stuff I plan on carrying around for me or with me all day in a while. And we're about to free up one spot, so that's good news. But look at this. We're getting so close. I think we only had, what, five left last time I checked? Where are we at? Collections, artifacts. No, minerals. <gasps> that was the last mineral. Sweet, we're done with minerals. Now we just need to play the waiting game for these artifacts. I don't know where some of these come from. That's a bone, that's probably also a bone. I know that's a golden skull mask. That looks like a rusty spur or something. No, that's a rusty spur. I don't know what those are, but I have a feeling some of them, I'm pretty sure the golden skull mask only comes from skull cavern or something, hence golden skull cavern mask. I don't know but we'll find it in due time. But man, I'm getting super like completionist with this game now and it's getting kind of fun. There's so many little things that are left to do. And some of those little things involve making friends with Urubadi. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to go to Robin's. Uh, let's see if we can give some gifts real quick and then I'll see if we have time to get to Robin's by five. We totally forgot to check out what that community center upgrade was. I don't know if we can expand the community center or something now that it's completely built. I don't know, but let me give some gifts to George and Alex and I'll meet you there. Okay, we got here just in time. It's 4.50, community upgrade. What's that? You wanna build Pam a house? What? That's a great idea. You'll just need 950 wood and 500,000 gold. Oh gosh, Robin. You're, you're robbing me. Maybe that's why they call her Robin. She's taking all my money. That's not cool. Do I even have the room for this stuff? I have room for the wood and that's it. That's kind of really funny. Anyway, I need to chop some trees and finish gifting things to people. Let me do a little bit of that without you guys. And when we get back, Hopefully, we'll have time to, one, clean up our inventory a little bit, because you guys know how much that bothers me, and two, get around to the, the items on the farm I had mentioned, the uh, the four light posts in our greenhouse, which I think will make it look a lot nicer at night, and then I also wanted to add the additional, what did I say, five? Five additional mayonnaise makers? So yeah, let me let me get on those gifts, and I'll meet you guys back at the farm. All right, welcome back to the farm. It's been a little while. How's everyone doing? Good, I hope. Okay, anyway, let's get on to business. These are all gifts. That's nice. That's fine and dandy. We got enough to make another Iridium bar. Actually, we got enough to make two more Iridium bars, which means we can make ourselves an Iridium band. Ooh, that's exciting, actually. Okay, that's going to be happening next episode, I think. I don't really think there was anything else I wanted to... Oh, and that works out perfectly. I did not mean to do that, but it works. We can make some more kegs tomorrow as well. Ooh. Okay, and we'll stash the rest of that. So, we need to get... What was it? I wanted to make five. It was five copper bars, five earth crystals, which I think I saved, and five something else's. No, that's it. I just need to grab some stone. And with that, we should be able to make five more mayo makers, which will be very nice and much more, I don't know, profitable. It'll be, it'll be nice. This is the first time I'm really prioritizing. And yes, I am prioritizing making those over the, um, what are they called? Where are my batteries? What am I doing? They're over here. Over the decorative stuff. I should have made these first in my traditional uh, priority list. Decorate first, functional things second. But look at that, we have room to pick up sap now. That's crazy. Anyway, we just need a few more trees here. I'll just get these three. And then that should be enough to make some additional lamps. 
which is nice because the greenhouse looks like it's illuminated from the inside at night, but it's not. It is really, really freaking dark. So we're gonna fix it with some battery packs, which we don't even have the room to make more than one at a time, but that's okay. I think this will give a really nice look if we just do one in each of the corners. And they don't put off a ton of light, which I actually kind of like. It'll be a faint glow in each corner with a little bit of darkness in the middle, which is kind of a cool look because it's not, I like the look of the iron lampposts, but they almost give off too much light to where it's not, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's nighttime. It's almost like I just said, too much. That is the perfect amount. We got a little dark spot in the middle. And I kind of like that because if you stand in the middle, it's all well lit, which is beautiful. And I wonder, I'll have to do a comparison of the size of our glow ring with the Iridium band. Although, hold on, the description of the Iridium band, I'm pretty sure it says combines the effects of... Oh no, glows attracts items and increases attack damage by 10%. That is so nice because then we can always wear that along with like the vampiric band or something or possibly another ring that we may or may not get from the Adventurer's Guild. That's it. Whoa. Way to sleep in unison, everyone. Good job. Choreographed sleeping. It's beautiful. Anyway, we have two more of these to place, and I'm thinking they can go right here. And now we have eight things producing eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't we have room for 12? I, I don't know. I may have counted that incorrectly. Anyway, it's bedtime, I think. Why did I grab five batteries? I don't know. It's bedtime, though. You know, the smart thing would have probably have been to put all these eggs that we had in our inventory into the mayo makers that we just made. But when have I ever been accused of being smart or thinking things through to the fullest? That's right. Never. <laughs> Oh gosh, sometimes I'm sure you guys watch these and just are, are yelling at your screens like, why didn't you do that? I don't know. I forget things. It's easy to do. <laughs> but little Charlie, it's so cute. Oh, it's adorable. He's growing up. He's he's not in his little kid's room anymore. He grows up. They grow up so fast, guys. Get him. It's so cute. All right, I want to check. Oh, a little Atlas is chilling by the fireplace, staying warm. It's fall. It's getting cool. I live in Texas. You guys know that. And uh, I feel like we skipped fall entirely. It went to winter. Two days ago, I was outside running. And I run with my shirt off when the weather's nice because it just gets so sweaty and gross in Texas. It's nasty, sweating through stuff. Anyway, I don't know why I'm outside. but And then the day after that, so yesterday... I woke up and my phone read 40 degrees outside. Like, what? It went from like 70 to 40 in a day. Texas in a nutshell, everyone. All right, though. Friday and Saturday. So the next next two days, we need to make sure we're giving gifts to everyone that needs gifts. That has to happen. Because gifts will reset on Sunday. And that is a huge priority of mine currently. In addition, we'll probably... Well, it's going to depend on what you guys vote so make sure well i'm saying make sure to vote but anyway i need to know what i'm doing in the cellar and by the time you guys see this you might have already let me know so i'm not sure how that's gonna work but i need to redo some stuff in the cellar either add more or reposition stuff either way we got some some things to do and it's exciting and i know i missed marnie's birthday yesterday on the 18th if any of you were yelling at me i'm not focusing on birthdays unless i need them for the people that need relationships Unless we get, you know, 10 or 8 hearts with everyone, then I might just do it as a way to still engage with the villagers. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had a blast, as always. And I'm excited I get to do an extra Stardew Valley video. As much as I love the forest, and don't get me wrong, I do love the forest. I also love Stardew Valley, so it's, it's not like... I'm any less happy to do a Stardew Valley episode than I am the forest. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's bonus Stardew Valley. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week or next video. And until then, as always, take care.